Oh boy, technical difficulties almost ruined the genuine nature of this reaction video, but we are doing a reaction to Bring the Noise, covered by Leo Maracchioli, featuring Hero the Hero. So let's get into a transition, or an intro, rather. <laughs> I'm reading and not speaking, and here's an intro. Okay, so what you haven't heard yet because the other video, there was a weird error and things just went crazy. So I'm just going to do this intro all over again. Uh, so this song is originally done by Anthrax. It's featuring Public Enemy. So uh, uh, Mike D from Public Enemy. I don't, I'm really blanking on, not Flava Flav, the main guy. Can't remember his name. And I feel like a total moron, and I really hate watching reaction videos when the guy's acting like a moron, but, or the person, I guess. Uh, I um, apologize, I can't think of his name right now. Anyway, uh, so the original ver version of this song is Anthrax featuring Public Enemy. That version of the song I'm only passively familiar with. I've heard it a few times, sure. Uh, the version of this song that I am super familiar with is the Stained cover. Uh, Aaron Lewis from Stained does the majority of the vocals, and it's featuring Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit. It came out in, like, 98, I think, maybe sometime in the early aughts, but I'm pretty sure it was around no because stained was big so it was probably like 2002 or so 2003 i might have been graduated from high school by the time that they released it but that's the version that i'm familiar with because that's the heavy music i was really into at the time so when it came out and they the stained put it on i think it was on a b-side for one of their uh singles i immediately put that on like every mix CD I ever made. Uh, well, not everyone, but I, I'm exaggerating to illustrate a point. Um, so I have heard that version of this song a bunch of times. And so, like, I could very probably recite it from memory to a certain degree. Not perfectly, but a lot of it. <laughs> uh, so I'm super interested to see another musician I fully respect and also the other cool thing about this is i've always since i learned of hero the hero i've always been interested to hear what he has to offer i've just never actually heard anything from him so i'm interested to see how they tackled how he is a part of this song and how it gets tackled um you can see I've already kind of sort of watched a little bit. Like I said, there was a crazy technical issue, and I couldn't hear what was going on. I actually could barely see what was going on because I have a streaming issue right now. But that being said, without any further ado, you, get, you got my history. We're going to get into the reaction, and yeah, here we go. Are you guys ready? Already digging that that riff. That it's the incredible Ron Manimo. D public enemy number one. <laughs> I dig this. This is bad ass. And he's got the flavor flame clock. So, all right, all right, let's get, I, I'm, I'm kind of cracking up at this, because you got camera crew, his flavor, I know, it's super blurry, and I'm sorry, uh, flavor flavor clock, that's cracking me up, this is, this is great, I'm, uh, the Leo's guitar on this is super heavy, heavier than Mike Mushock from Stained back in the day, for sure, and definitely heavier than Scott Ian and company in ha Anthrax, so that's kind of Turn it up! 
Ooh, on the beach now. Are they in... No, that's not... It looks like Mardi Gras, but... That hasn't happened yet, so... Hey, look, it cleared up. Thank you, streaming. Matter of fact, you are up like a senator. Soap on a rope, because it beats in the rhymes are so dope. <laughs> Damn, Leo has some good production skills, man. That is New Orleans, though. That's not. That might be. That totally is. Turn it up. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's New Orleans. My DJ's Leaf, you know. We call him Leaf, you know. Or, my DJ's Lethal Dose. We call him Leaf, you know. That's the Fred Durst lyrics. Oh, that, mu that must be some sort of Mardi Gras celebration. Did they film this last year? Oh, I know we're frozen? Okay. Bring the noise. All right, and we, th there's got to be a breakdown section, right? Leo always does breakdowns. <laughs> Kazoo solo. Nice. <laughs> little less clear on his vocals than I would have anticipated because he usually mixes his vocals so well. Time it up. Nice. <laughs> no breakdown. I can. I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. You don't have to have a breakdown in every song. It's fun to do a breakdown in every song, but it doesn't have to happen. Filmed during Ship Rock Cruise, New Orleans, and Cosmel. Yep. Nice! I like that. I usually do. Leo Maracchioli is kind of kind of a badass, I feel like. He's pretty great. Uh what do you guys think? Do you like do you, do you, are you familiar with the song? I feel like that's that's an important part when you're listening to somebody cover something is are you familiar with the original? Sometimes Leo does covers. I've never heard the original. Uh very rarely though, I feel like. Either way, it's I I I really even if I'm not familiar with the song I like the way Leo does it because he has such a great ear for production. Uh, but that's the end of the video, guys. What did you think? Let's talk about it down in the comments. Uh, check out all of the other things in these two boxes so you can see other stuff going on on the channel. And thank you guys for joining me. Before we go, though, always always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it is probably here.